Good evening, everyone. My name is Tom Geary. I'm president of Carpenters Local 339. I'm a lifelong Waltham resident. This evening, I'm joined by baristas from the Marketplace Drive Starbucks right here in Waltham. Recently, they've gone public with their unionization efforts, and we're here to talk about that this evening. Hello. Thank you so much for having us. We're really excited to be here. We are baristas from Marketplace Drive Starbucks. We have recently filed for our union election. And I'm Aubrey Bichant. I'm Ari Verhey. I'm Chris Gamble. And we are excited to be here and uh, talk about uh, what we've been up to for the past few months. Why did you decide to push for a union? Can you walk us through the impetus on the unionization effort and where we're at now? Yeah, so I think one of the biggest reasons uh, we've been pushing for this is um, this is definitely one of the most stressful and underpaying jobs I've ever had. I've worked uh, a bunch of different jobs throughout my life. Uh, I was also very inspired by the unionization efforts that started last year at the Starbucks in Buffalo. And at the end of the day, uh, I, we work for a living. Um, if so long as you have to sell your labor power for a wage, you got no reason to not union. And so basically we started uh, trying to unionize more or less uh, once I started in July. Um, from there, we you know got our cards signed around, um, filed them November 27th with the National Labor Relations Board, and we have our election confirmed for January 20th. What do you hope to gain from unionizing? Um, I'm thinking generally, it's both a show of solidarity with other stores and also, you know, money, arguably better benefits, um, more security in those benefits as, as well. Um, I don't necessarily think I have a particularly unpleasant workplace. Like, I think my, my time at Starbucks has been relatively, you know, not terrible. What I hope to gain is, I think, more awareness of unionization for people overall, everywhere, um, as well as, you know, just having more of this kind of thing happening generally with Pete, generally for everyone, you know, like no, knowing that you can and probably should unionize your workplace is a good thing. And I think it will do a lot to change labor relations in the future. Have you experienced or do you anticipate any retaliation? We haven't experienced any any like noteworthy retaliation. For, as for anticipating uh, retaliation, I'm not really sure. My our manager isn't a particularly, you know, she's not a particularly iron fisted woman. Nor do I think she intends to crack down on us in any particularly harsh way. Um, I think. I think standards that should be enforced will be enforced more uh, in these coming days, just as like a, you know, just to keep people a little sharper because Starbucks doesn't want this kind of thing. And they make a very big point out of not wanting it to the point where they have done some pretty unpleasant things to certain stores. I don't believe we'll be one of them because our, our upper management, like as, as I said, our store manager and our district manager, neither of them are particularly unpleasant people. And that's why I think uh, unionization is important as well. Uh, our manager, not particularly awful, uh, but the problem with places like Starbucks is that they shuffle these managers around so much. Uh, and there's, with such a high turnover rate as well, just the daily life of baristas is just ever changing and being able to have our union as a steadfast concrete thing uh, to ensure safeguards for when uh, our manager leaves for any reason. Uh, just being able to know that we're safe with our union uh, if any particularly awful uh, managers come up or any new unsafe business practices uh, arise, I think is very important. How can local people support your efforts? For example, Starbucks Workers United is asking people not to buy Starbucks gift cards this holiday season. What else can people do or not do? Yeah, not buying Starbucks gift cards is a great idea. 
it we support one hundred percent. It's basically giving money to Starbucks for free, and we want to put the screws to them until they're willing to negotiate. Uh, you can also sign the no contract, no coffee pledge. We will put the link down below. Um, it's also to put pressure on Starbucks, show them that the community supports unionization efforts, and that they want uh, to help us fight for our contracts. It also keeps you in touch um, and to stay in loop with future events and other actions. Uh, one of the latest ones was the Labor Day sip-in. I don't know if you're too familiar with what happens, but across the nation, a bunch of Starbucks uh, unionized, a bunch of unionized Starbucks had sip-ins uh, on Labor Day. Um, a sip-in is essentially, it's it's a play on the the sit-in from the civil rights. Uh, at the end of the day, it's it's an event where community members occupy Starbucks's uh, for a certain period of time in a day. They only get water or simple drinks. Um, and when they order their beverages, use names like Union Strong or Solidarity Forever. Solidarity Forever. Uh, the goal is to show community support, um, let management know they're being watched, and ultimately put pressure on them. Um, we are having a sip in of our very own to celebrate our filing and our election. Our sip in is going to be January 14th. From 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., we'll have more information below. Uh, but if you do want to sign up, uh, we're trying to coordinate this with certain ships. So you can email us at sbwu underscore mb underscore waltham ma at proton.me. We'll have that link down below as well. And if you can't uh, make it to that, tell everyone you know and even just swing by and introduce yourself. Tell us about tell us about how you support us. We really appreciate it and we want to get to know you. I'm very much looking forward to our sip in. I hope uh, everyone can attend. Hoping it's a, gonna be a nice community event. I hope it's successful, entertaining, and sticks it to bucks, at least mm -hmm. a little bit. Waltham is a city whose economy and culture has been based on labor for many generations from our part in the re Industrial Revolution to our famous watch factory. How can Waltham Starbucks baristas unionizing help move the dial and help the plight of the working class across the city? Firstly, speaking more broadly, I would say that it's all about inspiring people to reimagine how the world works. Uh, that is why I, I'm doing this, why I've been helping doing this. I want people to know and believe that the world we currently live in is not the world we have to live in tomorrow. Uh, we can live in a world where workers are better represented, even in the jobs where society tells us that we don't need unions. It is those very jobs that need them the most. So helping inspire other Walthamites to organize their uh, workplace is a big driving force uh, for this. Um, I want this union to be very visible in the community, uh, to be active in the community, and to show the working class people of Waltham that we took on a billion dollar company and we won. Uh, and that with the help of the community as well, and that we want to help you do the same. Um, we want to be a part of the fights for labor in Waltham. We want to be a, a part of the fight at Brandeis where SEIU dining workers are fighting with their catering service provider, Harvest Table. But broader than that, we want to be uh, part of the fight with tenants and garden crests that are fighting deplorable living conditions uh, and if and when they decide to organize a tenant union or not. Uh, we want to be a part of that fight. Uh, we hope to inspire the working class uh, of Waltham at every level of struggle. And so please, if you want to be involved, reach out to us, um, but know that we may be reaching out to you as well. Yeah, we, we also, a lot of us are involved with a lot of other groups. And we one of the things we really are also interested in working with other local mutual aid groups, there's the Waltham Food Not Bombs, and warm up Boston, which ideally we would like to use our union to help them help them out and as another way of trying to help out our local labor movement. If folks who are watching this hope to unionize at their workplaces, 
What lessons did you all learn that you can share to make things easier for others? Things you would have done differently, started sooner, etc. In other words, what advice would you give these workers in our area? I think this is all of our first real entry into unionizing. Uh, so we figured out a lot of it on our own as we were going. Um, it definitely, there are a lot of things uh, in hindsight we could have done better. Um, I think one of the things I can recommend the most is definitely pay attention to the complaints of your coworkers. Um, that's definitely going to be the number one way you're able to really connect with your coworkers and build a, a decent sense of solidarity to, to bring them in further. Um, other things I think we, we could have done better. I think, I think, um, having done community organizing in the past, uh, I know I knew this was going to be the case, but especially with labor, especially with unionizing, is uh, just it requires a lot of meetings. It requires a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings with people. It requires a lot of uh, organizing committee meetings, and so you need to be very comfortable with the people you work with, um, especially just having like one or two like very driven folks. Uh, and it's just going to require more sitting down with people and listening and talking about your day-to-day -day than you anticipate. It's going to require uh, just a lot of conversations with your coworkers. And so be mentally prepared for that. To bounce off what Chris has said, I think uh, promoting cohesion is very important. And, you know, so as he said, solidarity and community and feeling as though you have coworkers that you can trust. I think that's, you know, Having people you work with who you trust and enjoy the com the company of is good. It you know it makes your workplace better. It makes your job better. It makes it gives you something to, to look forward to when you work. And you know, trying to engage that kind of relationship with your coworkers really does add a lot to this kind of organizational effort. And I think it's important to you know get to know the people you work with and I don't know. Show show that you care. Because yeah, at the end of the day, that's basically what you're doing is getting together because you care. Mm -hmm. Thank you to the baristas from Marketplace Drive. Good luck with your unionization efforts. And I'd like to remind everybody about the SIP in on January 14th from 9 to 1. And good luck with your vote on the 20th. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for, uh, for stepping in uh, to do these questions. And uh, we're very excited uh, about the 20th. We're very excited uh, about our sip-in. Hope you can join us. Um, and thank thank you for having us. Thank you. Well, thank thank you. you. It was good to do this. Good to meet you.